Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create new events in your Google Calendar using Wix code and Google APIs NPM. First of all, hover over dev mode and enable core vid. If you've already done that, on your left hand panel, hover over node modules, click on the gear sign and click on install a new package. Now type in Google APIs. Now I'm seeing no results because I already have it installed. But once it shows up for you, click on the install button over here. And after that, it's going to get installed. Now, the first thing is you need to create the authentication app by which you will get your Google Calendar's API authenticated. So in this you don't need to do anything else apart from copying what we are doing over here is whenever someone clicks uh, on enter after entering the client config config file the data is getting saved into the database same happens for the authorization code too now if you copy the code as it is and create the text box and button as it's shown on the screen along with the button being disabled on load go to the link provided over here while logged into your Google account and click on enable the Google Calendar API You can click on download client file and click on save. Open this with a notepad and before we proceed I just want you to know that for this experiment you will have to create a database called config and the database should have two columns. One will be the default title column and the other should be value. If you have these two you're ready to go. Now, once you get this config config file, copy everything and paste it over here. Once you paste it, click the enter button on your keypad and once you see this sign and the button gets activated, that means your data has been saved. Now, click on get code, sign in to your Google account. Ignore this warning and click on allow. Now copy this authorization code and paste it over here. Again press enter on your keypad and once you see this vector icon you're good to go. Go back to the editor now hover over the event page again the event page you need to set up the user input elements and name them as I have on my page and create the on click event handlers and on change handlers for which it is shown and the rest you can just copy paste this entire thing also you can you can just copy paste the config file in the back end and the create event file there's nothing else for you to change or alter if you copy paste it exactly how I've written it you'll run into no issues now when I click on preview I'll go ahead and start adding an event name YouTube tutorial event location 283 suite Santa Monica CA this is a YouTube tutorial on how to create an event on your Google Calendar let's select let's say 12th 6 a.m. 12th 6 to 8 a.m. 
these are my two attendees who are going to attend the event and I click on submit ignore this warning it's not related and let's see for so we started this event on 12th August 6 a.m. see the event has been created for 12th August 6 a.m. so this is how you create an event on your Google Calendar using the API again if you copy paste exactly what I've done these user input elements with these field keys over here property IDs and create the handlers proper handlers as I've done you can pause the screen and take a good look at it and copy it exactly as it is and from there onwards you just need to copy these parts inside the event handlers and copy the rest of the code as far as the config file and the create event file in the backend goes you just need to copy paste there's nothing else to do just remember to install the Google API's npm package create the config database with two columns one name title and the other name value and you'll be good to go